Welcome to Heartland Family Adventures. Today we invite you to join us for dinner at the Jungle Navigation Company Limited Skipper Canteen, but most people would just refer to this restaurant as the Jungle Skipper Canteen. This is a really fun restaurant that immerses you in theming and some of the backstory and imagineering behind the Jungle Cruise ride. The restaurant is also known for bold flavors and a more exotic menu with influences from Asia, South America, and African cuisine. The Jungle Skipper Canteen is open for lunch and dinner, and dining reservations are highly recommended. They also have a large amount of seating in three main rooms, including the Mess Hall, the Jungle Room, and the SEA Room, which is the secret meeting location for the Secret Society of Explorers and Adventurers. We love looking around the rooms for different artifacts and funny references to the Jungle Cruise ride and other hidden Easter eggs. Let us know in the comments below if you spot any. If you're new to our channel, thank you for joining us. We post new content every week with our family travels, including theme parks, hotels, and dining reviews, and more. We hope you enjoy. I'm excited to come back. And we'll see what happens. Yeah. Low expectations are great. It's also like the either brave or forward, right? Right. So I'm sure you're familiar with the highlights of the restaurant. We have one up here. We have one over there. The highlight all the way over there. Don't worry about that one, though. This one's my favorite, actually. It's right inside my head. Yeah. Normally it is booked. We made an exception for those. Feel free to check out the booking. Dr. Albert Falls, this dot on the snake in the picture, I heard it was a very constricting relationship. Oh. Yeah. He doesn't like to talk about it. Didn't end well. Yeah. Appetizers include the veranda fried rice, the fall family falafel, cachapas, jungle green salad, and the lost and found seasonal soup. They also have a nice variety of specialty cocktails, beer and wine, as well as non-alcoholic beverages including the Adventureland Colada with Dole Whip and coffee. Specialty cocktails include a tropical sangria and the veranda shandy, and one of the popular beer options here is the Kungaloosh Spiced Excursion Ale. Cheers, friends. We are back at the Jungle Skipper Canteen, which is short for the Jungle Navigation Company Limited Skipper Canteen. Um, it's in Magic Kingdom. Uh, we're just wrapping up our day at Magic Kingdom. We got a, uh, a summer shandy, which is a blue moon and lemonade mixed together. It's really tasty and refreshing. Uh, Dave got the Kung Galoosh over here. That looks really good. That's one of the signature beers you can get at this location. You can get that at a couple places here yeah. at, at Disney World. You can get it over at Animal Kingdom too as well, I believe. Yeah, it's um, a scope of, scope of beer to, to Walt Disney World. Yeah. We also got the Brazilian um, cheese bread. Cheese bread. Cheese bread. And then these little, little tiny cheese. cheese it's a secret menu item, balls. but our... our mm -hmm. Waiter did mention that you could order it. So. Uh huh. Yeah, right now, like I said, tonight there was two secret menu items. Secret menu items, just not listed on the menu. These cheese, cheese, cheese bread, and then they also had a, a pork skewer that you could get. There was an appetizer as well, two appetizers. And I suppose it's really nice. There's sauce over here. I'm going to try that. These ones over here are called the Orinoco Ida's Cachapas. So. <laughs> Easy for you to say. <laughs> right. Everything on the menu has a fun, fun name. This one. So it says, if, as if you thought our jokes were corny, these are Haas made corn pancakes. And so, and they come with beer braised pork on top. It looks really tasty. Roasted corn, Fresno pepper salsa, and avocado cream. We've got the little dollops of avocado yeah. cream on the inside. So it looks like we've got some, like, some cheese too. Sprinkled mm, on top. Really it looks really good. Really good. You should dive into one of those cheesy bread balls. Yeah, yeah. I've never had these before. This is the first. I've never had anything like that. 
it is, it's kind of crunchy on the outside, kind of crunchy on the outside and crisp. The inside is really soft and doughy and cheesy. It's not like, it's not like a mozzarella ball or something like that. It's just like a cheesy, cheesy bread dough, almost kind of like doughy, but it's cheesy. It's really tasty. And this is, this is a really good sauce over here too. I really like that. Oh, nice. Yeah, warm. That's really tasty. Mm. I like that a lot. And they give you a lot of them. Yeah. It's kind of what they're known for unique dishes, unique flavor. Mm -hmm. It's one of the things we like so much about Jungle Skipper Canteen is that they have such a more like exotic variety of menu options here that you can't really get anywhere else. Um, so we like, like to try different things on the menu, which is fun. They don't have a lot of things on the menu, but the things that they have are really unique and different. We usually have loved everything that we've tried so far. So. Dave's gonna try the kachapas. Right. It's, <laughs> it's falling apart. A little messy. Here, <laughs> they look really good. <laughs> It's nice, a lot of complex flavor. It looks like. It's got the corn pancake and then the beer braised pork. Is, yeah, try some dipping it in some of that avocado cream too. Yeah, the too. corn pan pancake adds just a little sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. Nice with the kind of salty pork. It's good. Lots of flavor. Hmm. Yeah. Not surprising, I like it with that avocado. That's avocado cream, avocado yeah. Avocado cream. Yeah, it looks it looks really tasty. Hmm. Really good, just really hard to eat. <laughs> just hard to eat. Maybe something you want to eat with a fork. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How is your kind of goon galoosh? Did you? This is really good. It's yeah. Like good brown ale. Mm -hmm. um, What's it remind you of? Kind of reminds me of Fat Tire. Oh, that. okay. It's a similar flavor. But I like brown ales. Yeah, I'd order this every time though. That's, yeah. nice. That's a really good beer. Yeah. Mm. Oh, man. That is really good too. I like that. I really like that corn pancake on the bottom. It's really sweet. It gives that sweetness. The beer, yeah, the beer braised pork. And there's something in there that's got a, a spicy, kind of a spice and heat to it. I feel it in the back of, kind of the back of my throat. Um, so kind of, you kind of get that later. I'm not sure where it's where it's coming from. It might be the meat, or it might be some of the sauce on top. It's really nice, though. I, I think like it'd it. be the sauce on top. Right? Yeah, I really like that. No, no, the pork is delicious. The so far, pretty good, huh? It's delicious. Thank you. Right. Mm. You get the cheese. The cheese is nice and sharp. Mm -hmm. Helps cut through with the sweetness of the corn and the richness of the pork. Oh, that's delicious. I like this a lot. Yeah, we've never ordered this appetizer before. I really like it. That's nice. And then the avocado cream. How does it that? Mm. Yep. Delicious. <laughs> Entrees include the short rib, the New York strip steak, crispy fried chicken, the curried vegetable stew, char siu marinated pork, Thai noodles, sustainable fish, and tofu Thai noodles. Kids meal options include the safari snack and salad, coconut curry, macaroni and cheese, grilled steak, and a crispy chicken, as well as a variety of sides. We visited this restaurant with our kids during another visit and the full review is available at the link above and in the description below. All right, for our entree, we decided to split the Dr. Falls Signature Grill steak. This looks really, really big. <laughs> it's a big steak. So it is a adobo seasoned New York strip with a chorizo hash. And then it comes with collard greens, crumbled onion puree, and a crispy farofa. Yeah, interesting. That must be this crispy bits on top here. Yeah, and I kind of see the puree over there on the side, and then we've got some veggies over here on the bottom. And so we've got some, looks like maybe pickled onions on top. It looks really good. So Dave is going to dig in. I ordered it medium. So. Yeah. Mm. Nice and pink. Per perfect. Yeah, perfectly cooked. Awesome. Yep. See what you think. Caramelized onion puree. I bet that's really nice. It's adobo seasoned steak. The steak by itself, just with that 
that rub they put on there. Mm -hmm. It's a little different. Yes, this is adobo. Adobo, like so kind of an African heat. spice. It's not, it's not, it's not spicy, but just a little bit different flavor. Uh -huh. I really like it. Yeah. It's really good. It has a nice rub on it. Try some of this stuff. Mm -hmm. Got collard greens. Looks like you got some potatoes, maybe. I'll try a little bit of sauce, actually. It's an onion puree. Yeah, that's good too. Mm -hmm. A little bit of oniony flavor. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is, this is excellent. And I thought it would be because we came here last time. My daughter and Emma actually got a steak with a kids meal. Yeah, we, I were, tried a little we were bit shocked at like, how big. I, yeah. I would have been happy with her meal. So. Yeah, we were shocked at how big her steak was, and this is this is even bigger. Yeah. <laughs> so this is awesome. This is easily shareable. Uh, we got a couple of appetizers, so we thought, well, we might not have enough room for each, both of us to get an entree, yeah. but this is easily shareable. Yeah, we're going to enjoy. It's really good. Awesome. Can you dig in and try this, too? Yeah, that's perfectly, perfectly cooked and pink in the middle. That's great. Let's see those colored greens on here. Try that. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, you're right. Hmm. Yeah, it's not just like the salt and pepper that we're used to. It's a mm -hmm. little bit different flavor. Mm -hmm. And the heat did, I said that when I after, it, it took like a good like 30 seconds and I started to feel that heat in the back of my mouth. Yeah, yeah. It's not, it's not immediately. Like you yeah. get a little bit of seasoning and then you feel the heat kind of in the back of your throat again. Similar to what we had in the appetizer. Yeah. So I wonder if it's one of the seasonings that they were using. I really like it though. It's really nice. It's kind of a well-rounded spice, and you get the heat in the back. It's nice. I'm gonna try one of these. Yep. Nice. I think. I think this is chorizo. This is the chorizo. Yep. It's delicious. Lots of good flavors going on here. These are those little crispy bits. Adds a little something to it. It's not really sweet, it's just more kind of a, not very crunchy, it's just kind of another salt component, kind of salty dish. It's really, really nice. I really enjoy this. It's just different than what you can get at any of the other restaurants here too, which I really like. So if you're looking for something a little adventurous, you want to try something, you're not afraid of some, some spices. Again, not spicy hot, um, just a nice, nice mild spice. I like that. I don't, I don't typically like spicy foods, but I, I really like this steak, so I keep eating. <laughs> they also have three dessert options here, including the coconut bar with a pineapple basil compote and vanilla cream, the kungaloosh, which is a chocolate cake with caramelized bananas and cashew caramel ice cream, and the panna cotta with a bit mango lime sorbet and fresh fruit as a plant-based option. Dessert has arrived, and we went with the Kungaloosh. So our, our server said that they have Kungaloosh alcohol, and they have uh, Kungaloosh chocohol. Chocohol, yeah. <laughs> so this is, says it's a chocolate cake with caramelized banana, and you can kind of see that over here, the caramelized banana, as well as a caramel cashew ice cream topped with coffee dust. And I think that's what this is over here. This looks really good. It's gonna be a challenge to get that all in a bite. I know. I don't know how I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna have to have to destroy him to try to take a bite. Right. No longer pretty. <laughs> the cake looks really good, though. Okay, I'm gonna at least get it some cake. Oh. It's tougher than I thought it was gonna be. It's more like a brownie kind of thing. Not like a cake, more like a fudge brownie. Like a really rich chocolate fudge brownie on the bottom. That's good. This um, this is that cashew ice cream. It's really good, really creamy. You can get the kind of the nuttiness and the caramel comes through, definitely. A little bit of this. Mm. Oh, I like that a lot. Yep, that's like a coffee, like a coffee brittle. Kind of reminds me of it's like a coffee brittle, sugar, like with sugar on top. This is nice. 
Let's see if I can get a little bit of everything. Got this banana. A little bit of that. A little bit of that. Okay, there we go. Mm. Mm. That's delicious. That banana has been like seared, like like caramelized, and oh, like it has a delicious like flavor to it, like a caramelized flavor to it. And uh, like crispy on the outside and soft and gooey on the inside mixed with that ice cream it's really really good i like that i like that crunchy coffee bit that crunchy coffee thing too that's great yeah the only thing that surprised me was the um the cake on the bottom the chocolate cake is more like a brownie but i love it it's like a really rich fudgy brownie um yeah let's, let's just see what you think dave Hey, right, Dave's got a perfect bite, sort of here. Let's see what you think. It's not pretty, but it got everything in there. <laughs> we destroyed it. It's not pretty anymore. <laughs> this is mine now. Oh no! No, I liked it too. <laughs> that was really, really good. Right? It's a very, very rich, dense brownie. Uh huh. I love it with the, the coffee and. The, there's a lot of flavors going on there. A lot of coffee, maybe. You got the nutty, the nutty and nuttiness, caramel. Nuttiness, uh, coffee-ness. Coffee, coffee flavors, chocolate flavors going on. Lots of flavors going on. But all really good together. Yeah, all of those. <laughs> awesome. Yep, we're gonna, we're gonna enjoy this and then we'll see you in a little bit. Hey guys, so we just finished our dinner at the Jungle Skipper Canteen. What do you think, Dave? Uh, it never disappoints. Uh, I don't know. We debate about this. I think it's the best. I don't know. It's definitely one of the best restaurants in Magic Kingdom. I reckon it, the food's a little more exotic. I realize that. But at the same time, last time we came, our kids loved it. They had good kid options. So, yeah. you know. We were really impressed at the, how they had nice, safe, like kid friendly options on the kids' menu. But if you're really good adult really options, good too. adult options on the regular menu, and so if you want to come with your kids, or if you just it's just you know just just we don't don't have the kids get through it a trip without the kids like we are, um, then you want to enjoy some more adventurous food. It's it's excellent. I think everything that we've ever we've ever ordered off the menu we really liked. Yeah. Um, and today we got to try one of the secret menu items, which was those Brazilian cheese that Brazilian cheese bread. Those were absolutely delicious. I would, I would hands down order those again. So don't forget about the secret menu items to make sure to ask about those. They had two of them today. The pork skewers and then those Brazilian cheese, that cheese, cheese bread. They were so good. So, and then, oh my goodness, that Pungaloosh cake, that Pungaloosh dessert was amazing. So if you've never tried it, definitely recommend trying that at least once. Save some room for dessert or just come here just for dessert. And, um, it was it was delicious. It's just a, it was not really a cake as much as a really dense, delicious chocolate brownie. But it had that nutty like that nutty cashew um, kind of butter caramel ice cream on top. It's just a lot of flavor and, going and on. And coffee, yeah. the coffee brittle, and oh, it was just and, and then the caramelized banana and just all came together so nicely. It was it was delicious. I I wish there was more. It was it was a, a, a smaller one. It was easy, easily shareable. I wanted there to be more because I wanted more. <laughs> really, everything they serve is packed with flavor. A lot of complex ingredients. It's just it's a great place. Yep. So it's a ra it's a rainy evening here. We're getting ready to 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 head out and finish our day at Magic Kingdom. Um, but yeah, we just wanted to share kind of our experience at the Jungle Skipper Canteen. If you want to check out our other video um, whenever we went to Jungle Skipper with our kids to see some of the items that they have on the kids menu and kind of our experience on the, how our how our kids did at this restaurant. Feel free to click on the we'll put, put a link put a link above um, and then in the description down below so you guys can check that out as well if you're if you're planning you want to check that out to see what it's going to be like maybe if you want to bring your kids here. Uh, but yeah, definitely recommend it. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a fun restaurant too. The, the theming is so great. Make sure and take some time to like look around the restaurant. There's there's three different rooms and check 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 each room out because there's so much fun decor. And especially if you love the Jungle Cruise ride, I know the the, the Jungle Cruise movie just came out. They had the opening weekend this past this past week. And so, yeah. Yeah. And I heard a lot of the servers cracking jokes about that too. Yeah, yeah, they were. The skippers, they've got lots of new material to work with based on the new movie. There's 
such a fun themed restaurant. I saw a barrel of the backside of water in one of the corners of the restaurant. So just like really fun theming. You just can't can't beat that. Fun theming, great food, great skippers that bring you bring out. The cast members are awesome here. Always there's always good for it for good for a joke. And yeah, we always, we definitely recommend it. If you haven't tried it, add it to your list. <laughs> All right, well, hope you guys enjoyed this dining review. We enjoyed, we enjoyed making it. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. If you haven't, haven't subscribed to our channel yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit, give us a, a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks, bye. bye.